Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hype Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And I've been doing these a little bit more often because I think uh, this is one of the more popular series that I do. So I want to make sure whenever I get a chance, I do record a live attack because I have a little bit of time recently and it's not, you know, that often that I'm in these week wars um, in terms of like weekday wars. Monday through Friday, and because I am in one right now, I am going to show you guys my first attack on this war. This is against base number 10, kind of an interesting base, um, and I'm doing an interesting attack on it. It has been scouted. Uh, basically, there's three Teslas back here behind those bomb towers. There is a dragon and a few other things in the CEC, and uh, that's pretty much all we know. Didn't see a whole lot else from the scout. But that's enough information uh, to have a solid plan. Basically, I'm going to drop down the queen right here and have her walk in this direction with four healers. I'm going to drop a baby dragon and a wizard to help funnel that off. Uh, let's see. I'm going to, um, as the queen makes her way around, she probably won't need a rage. I mean, she'll step up. She'll get this uh, um, expo. I'm thinking she probably won't need a rage, but... Um, in the event that she does, uh, I, I have one for her. I'm hoping to kind of time it with the CC because I'm going to drop a giant and three hogs on that archer tower to get the lure. So I'm hoping that if I do have to use the rage, um, it'll help uh, with the CC. I'll poison the CC as it comes down. Uh, that should be pretty easy to get it poisoned up. Then I'm going to, as soon as the cannon's aggro, drop four wall breakers, drop a baby dragon, and just have my queen come in here, keep an eye on her for the ability uh, when she needs it for that Inferno Tower, if she needs it. I'm thinking she uh, she probably will. And then I'm going to also um, drop a minion here initially to trigger the, uh, there's like a little air bomb there. Then I'm going to drop another one when the time comes to take out that cannon, because uh, that's a pretty free trade right there. Okay, so as that's going on, as soon as the queen's looking pretty good and everything's taken care of on that side, I'm going to drop, um, pretty complicated, uh, a giant here, then bowler to get the second bounce on the archer tower, two bowlers also getting the second bounce on the archer tower, that should get it down, a, uh, a wizard right here for that builder's hut, that should also help the funnel, then as, the, um, as soon as that goes, I'm going to drop the king, let him take that out, then just start walking towards the lab. CC bowlers behind. Eight Valks. If I place them right, they should go right for this wall here by the mortar. Um, yeah, get that opened up. Drop a jump. Drop a rage. Drop a freeze. Drop a heal. Uh, all kinds of good stuff in there. Just use pretty much the rest of my spells um, to get all that stuff taken out. And uh, at that point, baby dragon, baby dragon, baby dragon. I think that's all the baby dragons I have, but that's enough to get some of those outside defenses. And that's pretty much it, guys. A little bit complicated, as you can see, but um, I think it's going to work. I'm just going to have to uh, make sure I have all my troops and go through it one more time in my head uh, before we get this thing going. But um, got the bowlers in the CC, got the correct spells, the heroes. Um... I have an extra hog that I can use as needed. Um, four wall breakers for the queen, uh, the wizards. Yeah, that's all looking really good. Bit of a complicated plan. Let's take a look at the base and just get a few details uh, taken care of. So I'll drop a, um, let's test that. Yeah, I'll drop a minion here initially to trigger. So I'll go minion there, then I'll drop the uh, the healers right here out of range, then I'll drop the queen, then the baby dragon, then the wizard, and uh, from there everything should be uh, just kind of going in order uh, that I talked about. Yeah, that should get the sea sealer as soon as those hogs get through that archer tower. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, I think we're good here. Um, and then we'll just have to see about this walk here. The queen should step up for that expo. It definitely is within her range. I'll drop her a little bit farther, right in the corner of that dark elixir drill, probably. Yeah, I'll drop her a little bit out of range of the expo right back there. 
Okay, guys, this should be interesting. We'll see how this one goes. Ooh, better turn on my do not disturb. Perfect. Okay, that could be bad if I, a notification came up or something. Okie dokie. Uh, looks good here. Let's do this. Okay, let's get the minion up here. Wizard. Ah, uh, Mr. Expo. Gonna have to drop another wizard here. Make sure the queen doesn't walk, or at least walk the wrong direction. Uh, but things are looking good here. Gonna get ready for the lure. All right, let's do the CC lure. Giant, one, two, three. That should get it. Don't want to run out of time, got to get this going a little bit quicker. Come on. Just going to drop a Valk. Ah, you got to be kidding. Drop another Valk to get this wall open. Baby Dragon, Minion, all right. Giant, Bowler, Bowler. Bowler, King, This is kind of interesting here. Drop a hog for that. Okay, come on. Pop that ability, get through, get through, get through. Oh, I don't think I have it. No, that Inferno Tower is going to still be up. Ah, oh, the king and just things didn't go in the base like I wanted them to. Only the Valks went in. A lot of giant bombs, they went down. This one's going to be like a 95 percenter. Uh, yeah, really close, 95 percent. Uh, that's unfortunate because had things gone right, that would have been a three star. Um, got a UA there. Let's take a look at the replay here. Hmm, that was interesting. Um... Fast forward to the start, um, basically a little bit of a time consuming walk here, um, plus a, a wall breaker fail, I had to use a few Valks to get that wall open for the queen. Good adjustment, but it did take out the uh, a number of Valks from the initial uh, kill squad, and considering that the actual bowlers and the king didn't go in, there was not a whole lot of troops actually entering the base by that second inferno tower. So uh, this goes fine, I had to drop an extra wizard, but no big deal there. Um, I don't think that wizard on the builders had made the difference not being there. Uh, so the queen steps up, gets that expo. Go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. Let's see what actually happened. Um, pretty easy stuff. Didn't even have to use a rage, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't even use a rage on the queen. Perfect value for that walk. There's the lure. Um, good investment with all that. Poisons are good. They get the, uh, the troops taken out. And... Uh, Go ahead and fast forward a little bit more with the wall breakers. Uh, that Tesla, I just 
didn't anticipate it. Uh, I knew it was there, but I just kind of forgot for the sake of my wall breakers. If I had waited another second or two, um, would have gotten that wall opened up perfectly, but I had to drop an extra Valk. The first Valk was just to tank that cannon, but the second Valk had to go down to actually open that wall up. Good adjustment there. Um, the minion and the baby dragon are good. Let's see, giant, uh, I dropped the two bowlers on the wrong thing, but doesn't matter. Um, got taken out what I wanted to. And then right here, I was thinking the bowlers would come over and take out that one building there, which would have helped. And I, I was expecting more to be up here, but the baby dragon initially got more than I thought, I guess. Uh, let's see, those bowlers, yeah, they don't go into the base. They follow the king up towards the... That stupid gold mine was still up, which really hurt. Um, and then the queen gets her job done. She gets the Inferno Tower. The Valks actually get the core taken out, even though there's only like six of them, because they had pretty much all the spells. I went ahead and raged up those bowlers, but they can't quite reach that Inferno, and the jump's not there for them to take. So maybe I should have adjusted uh, the placement of that jump to include this compartment down here. I probably could have done that. Um, the baby dragons are good up top. They get what they need to, uh, but there's that expo that's still up, and uh, the queen's a little bit too isolated before she gets into the action. It's too late by the time she steps up, um, and that one hog did its best there, uh, but it hits so many giant bombs it goes down. Maybe should have dropped that on the inferno tower, actually, because it, yeah, I don't know if it would have got the inferno. It would have been close because that Inferno has so much HP. Uh, it probably wouldn't have made a difference anyway. No time in that one uh, air defense would have been up if I didn't drop the hog on that. So, uh, whew, tough one, 95%. This seems to be an easy cleanup. Um, uh, yeah. If not for the wall breaker farewell, that wasn't the biggest problem. I'd say more of the, uh, the initial funneling. Let's take a look at the base one more time and just for sake of, uh, for sake of this video see how the it could have been done a little bit better here i guess what i would have done is i would have done the exact same thing but uh dropped my drop the giant to tank the archer tower drop the giant right at that gold mine drop like two bowlers on that um if I had that wizard, I'd still drop it on the builder's hut. But drop my CC uh, right on that gold mine because they'd take it out. They'd take out the archer tower. Um, then they'd... Actually, I wouldn't even need the bowlers up here. I'd just drop like a wizard here to, to get that taken out. Drop the uh, the CC on that gold mine. Get the archer tower taken out behind it. They'd walk and take out that. Then they'd come and take out the cannon. I could have the king down to tank. And that way, they'd just walk around the base in the right direction and... If I needed, to, yeah, that with that taken out, I think the king would have uh, redirected and uh, gone a little bit closer to this area. The Valks would have still opened that up. So I think just that a um, little bit of the sketchy uh, funneling for the bowlers didn't quite uh, am amounted to me not getting the three star. So a uh, tough one, but definitely can learn from it. 95%. Uh, pretty solid. This base is um, maxed uh, besides the heroes, it looks like. So not bad there, not the best layout to be honest, but um, bonus attack time, uh, hopping right in here, kind of cutting away I guess. I wanted to show a successful attack because it's been so many fails lately between the fabulous fails, all the live attacks I've been doing that have been failing. Let's take a look at something that actually worked and it was a pretty awesome attack. Um, this one, uh, the same war against bad company, my second attack, Taken on a Town Hall 10 base, a little bit lower level, has the, uh, you know, Town Hall 10 mid-level defenses, has those cannons upgraded pretty far, most of them at least, and relatively high-level heroes. Actually has an Inferno Tower on single, which can be tricky for certain La Luna attacks because it will eat up your Lava Hounds pretty quickly. Um, but on this base, I'm doing a Queen Walk, uh, Hobo, or not Hobo, Bolo, um... Not bolo, ah, um, golems and bowlers and very interesting attack here, but tailor made to this base. You can see interesting CC troops has two baby dragons and a bunch of balloons, so actually pretty easy for my queen to take out. Right here, I wall breaker her in, and on the other side, I'm going to starting with some bowlers and pay attention to the tricky little wall breaker uh, trick I play over on that uh, right side as well. Uh, so the queen steps up here, going to have to use a rage on her, 
Uh, there come the wall breakers, just a nice line of them, about nine of them all making their way in. Uh, they open up both compartments, so avoid having to use a second jump able to get everything taken out just with the wall breakers everything opened up that is and the rage barely saves the queen she lost a healer but those three healers under rage will keep her up meanwhile a nice freeze on the inferno the teslas and the queen rage for the bowlers a jump and a heal making their way through and then a few valks i actually forgot to drop in the base itself I just go ahead and uh, drop along the outside to help kind of tank and take out some of these outside buildings. The queen is still up back to full health because there's no defenses on her. That single inferno, not very good against bowlers. It goes down and uh, that's pretty much it. Some second bounces take out the cannon. Just that archer tower left up and it'll go down momentarily. Look at that nice group of bowlers. A few go flying through a spring trap, but still have about 10 of them or so in the base doing work along with the queen and those valks that I sent in uh, delayed. So besides that, um, air defense, everything's taken out. Hope you guys liked the video. I wanted to throw in one attack that was successful, not a live attack. I wish I recorded this one live, but I didn't. So I'll just throw in the replay for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and more stuff to come this weekend. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. By Sectatron out.